What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick and in today's video we are indeed going to be making some barbecue chicken pizza. Barbecue chicken pizza is absolutely amazing. It is pizza but barbecue style. So we got to have some chicken on there that's already been smoked, some barbecue sauce, a little bit of cheese, some homemade pizza dough. This is going to be an amazing video. I hope you guys stick around all the way to the end. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. So the first thing that we are going to have to do today is make our pizza dough. Today we are using four cups of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of salt, and two yeast packets. To that we're going to be adding in one and a half cups of warm water, somewhere in between 110 and 120 degrees. So let's make our pizza dough, but before we do that, I just want to say if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We're posting a new video every Tuesday and Thursday. So now let's mix all of our ingredients together. All right, so today we got four cups of flour and I'm making a pretty big batch of this just because I'm going to be making a lot of pizzas today. Four cups of flour in this recipe, I mean, should make anywhere from like three to five pizzas, depending on how big you make them. Maybe you could even make six if you make them really thin, but that's what we're going to be doing today. So you can cut this in half if you want. Now we're going to be adding in two tablespoons of sugar. Then we're going to be adding in two tablespoons of salt. Last but not least, adding in our two yeast packets. And this is the instant rise kind. Next up, just go ahead and get this in here. Go ahead and get your topper on. And I just want to mix these dry ingredients together. When we put in our water and our oil, it'll all mix perfectly. So go ahead, hit your power and pulse it a few times. Now that our dry ingredients are all mixed together, let's go ahead and add in about a good two tablespoons of olive oil. So now that we got our olive oil in here, it's time to add in our water. And I like to add in about half at first, and then I kind of add in a little bit as we go to see how much we're going to use in total. The reason why the water has to be between 110 and 120 is because it needs to be hot enough to activate the yeast, but it can't be over 120. You know, it gets a little bit too hot. It has the possibility of killing the yeast and then your dough won't rise and it won't make great pizza. So that's how we're doing that. So let's go ahead and add about half of this in and then we'll start to mix. So I'm gonna dump in about half, you know, about good three quarters of a cup. That looks good to me. Now let's mix it up. Let's go ahead and get this snap back on. Make sure it's not like down. Now we're gonna hit the power button. Oh, the power's already on, whoops. All right, now we're gonna hit the power button, turn it back on, and we're gonna hit dough. All right, so I'm gonna take the top off. And as we see, our flour most definitely needs some more of this warm water. So I'm honestly probably just gonna pour the rest of this in here and let's get back to mixing. Go ahead, get your top back on, get it locked down. Power's already on, don't hit it again, and dough. Now, as you see, it's starting to get a little bit harder for this thing to turn. We want this to all kind of gather together in a bunch and kind of be form into one ball of dough. So we just want to keep letting this spin. So now we're going to turn this off and we're going to look at our dough, see how we're looking. Maybe we need to add in more flour, maybe more water. And you know what? Honestly, I mean, this feels pretty good. I'm thinking that this, that that's, so the, what you want it to be is you don't want it to be so sticky that when you touch it and you pull away that it sticks to your finger. And so if you have a dough that makes a nice little ball like this, it's nice and formable, you could stretch it, you could pull it, this is gonna make good dough. So now let's get this into our glass bowl. So now that our dough ball is made, it needs to sit in a nice warm place for about 45 minutes to an hour. That way it could fully rise and let the yeast work. So we're gonna put it in a glass dish, wrap it in some saran wrap. But before we do that, we need to grease our bowl. So to do that, we're just gonna take some spray oil, kind of spray it all around. Now we're just gonna form this into a nice little ball. Make it nice and happy, slap it a couple times. Give it a couple nice little slaps, let it know who's boss. We're gonna plop it in here and it's nice and greased. But what I like to do, is I just have to take a little bit of olive oil, just for good measure, just a little bit, not a lot. Then I'm just gonna kind of take and kind of just rub this around the outside just for good measure just don't want it to dry out at all keep it nice and protected now go ahead and take your saran wrap and just put it over the top of this we just want to make sure that we seal this off really nice keep all that air inside 
go ahead and cover that real nice. If you want to, you could even put a towel over this if your house isn't super warm, like maybe if it's in the middle of winter. Put a towel over it, kind of keep in some of that heat. Now set this off in a warm place for about one hour. So as you guys can see, we have parchment paper. I spread down a little bit of flour just to kind of help it uh, not really stick super hard while I'm spreading this out. And as, I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'll show you. I have this little circle dish underneath. And that's just to kind of try to help me get it in the shape of a circle because if I didn't have this, we would not have a circle pizza. And I know this because I actually just tried to uh, make one before we did this and it didn't turn out good at all. But our goal is just try to get this in the best circle that we possibly can. As you guys can see, my dough was a little uh, like resistance. It's probably because I didn't do something right along the way. And if you are a pizza expert and you're watching this video, feel free to roast me in the comments and let me know where I messed up. I will gladly accept your criticism because I'm not like an expert pizza master. I've made maybe like six pizzas, eight pizzas in my life. And that's just me being honest. All right, so I will skip to the part where this is finally done because there's no reason for you guys to sit here and watch me play around with this for the next 10 minutes. So. I'll be back soon. All right, so as you guys can see, we got this pizza really nice in the shape of a circle. It honestly only took me a few minutes after I told you I was gonna be leaving until I got it done. So this is looking nice and good. So for our pizza sauce today, I'm just gonna be squirting on some barbecue sauce and we'll just see how that looks. Don't want this to be insanely saucy on the bottom, just a very nice thin layer. And I think this actually is a Pretty good. I'm gonna leave some around the edges, some space that is, just so that way we have a nice little crust. And I think we're gonna call that good. So the next thing that I have here is some of this uh, mozzarella cheese. And just to make sure this is real mozzarella cheese, we're gonna have to try a little bit. And that is indeed mozzarella cheese. I just had to check to be sure. Now, I grated this up myself because when you get the cheese that's already shredded up. It actually has like a powder coating on it that causes it to not melt properly. And quite frankly, I don't think it tastes the same. So now we're just gonna go ahead and put on our cheese. And when you're making pizza, I know it's tempting to just glob this thing up with just like huge mounds of cheese and just have it melt all the way across, but not the way that we're gonna do it today. We are civilized human beings, but you know what? Maybe I will. I'll put on a lot of cheese for you guys. That looks like a lot of cheese. Just try and make sure that it's nice and even, spread apart. I'm gonna get a little bit right here, right there, right there. Okay, that looks pretty good to me. And just to pop off little tiny bits of flavor, we're just gonna be adding in the tiniest little amount of the sharp cheddar cheese, just like that. Just little hints of that mixing with the mozzarella is gonna be perfect. Red onions typically always go on barbecue chicken pizzas. So we're just gonna go ahead and layer on our red onions. I don't wanna put too much on there because I don't want it to be so overpowered with like a red onion flavor, but I definitely do love what it adds. And I think that looks pretty good for me. Now what I have here is none other than a smoked barbecue chicken thigh. And I actually smoked these up in my last video so if you want to learn how to make this uh, you can go ahead and do that if you want to for this recipe though just to make it simple and easy you could always just you know cook your own chicken however you want you could just go buy a rotisserie chicken or you could smoke up some chicken thighs but I'm gonna be using chicken thighs for this and just to make sure that this chicken thigh is still good and worthy to be on our pizza I'm gonna take a little bite just make sure that it's still good and I'm just letting you know Whoops. <laughs> it's still good. Off camera, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna shred this up because this is cold. I just pulled it out of my fridge and uh, I don't wanna just sit here and try to shred off little bits and pieces and look stupid on camera. because I probably should have already done this in advance, but I wasn't thinking until right now. Well, here we are. So I'll shred this up and I'm probably gonna shred up one thigh. I think one thigh, a decent size, you know, thigh should be good. And if it's not, I'll just I'll shred it more and put more on. So I'll see you guys soon. So as you guys can see, this is about the consistency of what I have it broken up to. I didn't do anything too crazy. It's all really random. So it doesn't really matter. 
So now we're gonna be putting it on our pizza and there really is not any right or wrong way to do it. You just wanna make sure that you're gonna have some chicken in every bite and not a lot. You wanna make sure it's spread out. You want the pizza to speak for itself. It's gonna be great and delicious. And I want this to actually look like a pizza. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in a couple little bare spots. Be like one right there, but I think that's good. That way when this cooks down, you'll still be able to see the red onion. You'll see the different cheese. And I think that's gonna be beautiful. And just to top this pizza off, I am going to just a little bit more of this cheddar just right there on top, just to kind of add a little bit of dimension. And I think that's good right there. Let's go ahead and open up our oven. And I am gonna take this off of this tray but I'm gonna use the tray to help us get in there. And you can cook right on top of this parchment paper. That's what I suggest. Um, there we go, it's in the oven. Okay guys, our 15 minutes is up. I've let it cool off a little bit and here's what we got. So now all we have left to do is slice into it. All right guys, so we're gonna take and slice this pizza. Now this piece is for me and this piece is for you. And if you look, I really, really cut up this cutting board up here. And I need this to look kind of pretty. <sighs> My wife's, I'm sure, very happy behind the camera that I'm destroying her things in the home. It was a great idea, I thought, but apparently not. So I'm gonna continue to cut up this pizza on an actual cutting board. And there we go. Normally I would stop here and just do it in and fours, but my wife said she wants me to cut it up into eights for some reason. Said she wants to take like a cute picture. I don't know. Whatever she wants, she gets. She wants me to cut it up into two or eight or 16, then I guess that's just what I have to do. All right, guys, so this is the piece that I'm gonna be having today. Looks absolutely great. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat it. I don't have any more words. Just gonna take a bite. Mm. <laughs> Barbecue sauce, all the way, baby. Just load it up and just keep eating. Well, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'll keep eating pizzas if you do. You'll get to keep watching me eat pizzas. And hope you like this video. You gotta share it with your friends. So they could see me eat pizza too, because everyone wants to watch me eat pizza. It's really weird. As always, I hope you guys have a great day, night, whatever time it is when you find this video, and I'll see you guys in the next pizza. Bye-bye.